I begin in the name of God, the most merciful, the most kind. I praise God, the Lord of all the worlds. And I greet you with a greeting of peace and mercy from your Lord. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. There's 22,000 people in this room. We can take the roof off. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah khair. Together, 20,000 brought here to discuss global peace and unity. Do you ever think to yourself, what's the point? We can't achieve peace. Look at all the war and bloodshed. Look at the chaos and destruction. Look at the injustice. What can we do? What can I do, little old me? World peace. It's surely just the words of politicians, the prayers of children, and the claims of Miss World contestants. And what would you like to see, Miss Germany? I want world peace. And you, Miss Japan? I want world peace. And you, Miss England? Oh, oh world peace. I'm not saying which contestant wanted a piece of the world, but she soon corrected herself. I want world peace. You know, the angels, they knew all about humanity. They asked God, will you create something that spreads blood and mischief on the earth when we praise your limitless glory? And when I look at the world, when I see the brutality of its past and its present, I fear for its future. When I see the enormous amount of money that is made from war, do you know, my brothers and sisters, that as a nation, we are still paying America for the debt of the war of World War II? $4,000 trillion, and we will not pay off that debt until next year. I think to myself, war, it's too profitable. How can we achieve peace? But I'm a Muslim, and a Muslim is optimistic. And I draw hope from God's response to the angels. He didn't disagree with them that his new creation would spread bloodshed and mischief. But he said to them, I know that which you know not. And he taught Adam the names. Yes, we have the capacity to spread bloodshed and mischief on the earth. But we also have the capacity to know the names the names of objects and the names of concepts, and that includes the concept of peace. If we can think peace, we can achieve it. And God established Adam on the earth as a khalif, a steward of the earth. We can be more than we are. We have the capacity to be a steward on the earth, to care for this earth, to look after it, to be its guardian. We may forget sometimes that this is our role. We may get so caught up in the day-to-day the -day of, of school and work and children and life and pressure and travel that we don't remember that we are here as guardians of this beautiful planet. We may be even become so disillusioned with the ugliness of war and man's inhumanity to man that we forget to look on in awe at the great and powerful beauty of the world. But let us stand in awe, in awe of the magnitude of creation, the diversity and multiplicity of creation, all created from the unity of God. When we stand in awe of his creation, we are more able to realize our position on this earth. We are able to feel his presence. We are able to bring about that elusive peace. When we stand in awe of God and his unity, maybe we become less scared of diversity. He says, I have created you into nations and tribes so that you may know one another, not so that you may hate one another. We are different colors. We speak different languages. We have different cultures. But there is unity in knowing that our differences are examples of God's 
creative magnificence. Our diversity created from his unity. Say he is God, the one. Our differences shouldn't scare us from a unity of stewardship. We can be united in removing pain. We can be united in removing suffering. We can be united in calling for justice, for justice is the closest thing to awareness of God. We can be united in building communities. We may do this in different ways, but as long as we understand our role of stewardship, we can have a vision for the future. We are so fortunate for us in this country that we can benefit from the foundation work of the first generation, the pioneers, our elders. We have the mosques, the institutions, the legacy which they have built. We have a growing media such as the Islam Channel who have brought us together today and newspapers and Radio Ramadans and magazines, for example, the one I work with, Amel. All of these things give us voice. So let us feel positive and confident to voice our vision, a vision which says Islam has something to offer this world, not just the Muslims. The Islamic message is never what's good for the Muslims. It is a message to the whole of humanity, a message of justice, environmentalism, of love and care for the planet for people and for all of God's creation. We may be labelled as a problem, and indeed there are problems of poverty, of health, of education, but let us not be defined by these. We may feel powerless, but let us know that all power belongs to God. Muslims of the past, wherever they went, they enriched that society. They improved it, added beauty. Let us make that our vision, to enrich, to improve. Like Yusuf salam, sold into slavery, cast into prison, he did not let that define him. Rather, when the time came, he saved Egypt. He did not convert Egypt. He fulfilled his stewardship and saved Egypt, and then in turn saved his family. Let us have a vision of civilization. Let us dream dreams of contribution. Let us bring beauty, not anger. For anger, as the Prophet wasallam said, destroys good deeds like fire destroys wood. We can have a vision of a coexistence of civilizations. We can reject the clash of civilizations thesis. We have a message that this world so desperately needs. Let us bring forth that message. Let it be a message of peace, of unity, of justice. It may not be in our lifetime or our children's lifetime, but let us establish the vision on this earth for tomorrow and for all our tomorrows. Jazakallah khair for your time and your attention. Anything I've said of any good is from Allah. The mistakes, they are mine. And if you want to come and talk to me and draw on what we see as the vision, I'm around and about, and I would welcome to talk to any one of you here or where I'll be in, I think, I don't know, X34, I think. Take care and salam alaikum.